Another important part of uh, automation is batch scripts. Uh, so by using batch scripts, we could automate tasks in, tasks in HyperDBG and batch scripts are, it's the, like the simple batch scripts that use sharp sign as the command character. And, but uh, this is a little bit different in the script engine. S script engine has C like commenting style. So if you want to make comments in batch scripts, you could use this sharp sign. While if you want to create uh, comments in a uh, script engine in S scripts, uh, then you should use a C like commenting style. The extensions for HyperDBG uh, batch script is .ds, which stands for debugger script, and could uh, use this come uh, use this batch commands. Both use the script engine codes uh, in the batch uh, files, and the difference here between the uh, script files and uh, the batch files is that script files are running like all of them, the script uh, engine or the script codes are uh, translated to an, a standard IR format. And uh, finally, it is passed to be executed to the kernel mode. But one thing to consider is that these scripts or these batch scripts, all of them are parsed in the uh, user mode part of the debugger. If you use a script or a HyperDG script, for for example, for an event, then uh, the S script itself will be parsed and will be converted to an IR format and will be sent to be executed in the kernel mode. So you should just keep it, keep this in mind. And uh, there is a command in HyperDBG dot script command which gets its input. It gets passed to a uh, script file and you could use it you could use it to simply run some batch batch scripts and also if if you just don't want to open the hyperdbg directly then there are also other arguments for the hyperdbg executable file uh, hyperdbg dash cli dot exe you pass dash dash script uh, parameter to the command line then you could also use the executable file directly for example imagine that we have this simple Batch script which uh, simply connects to the local debugger in uh, VMI mode. Then it opens uh, a, a log file and uh, tries to intercept system calls for this specific uh, process. And after some times, then it clears the events and unloads the debugger, removes the uh, driver, finally closes the log and exit. If we want to directly run this script, we could uh, use the following command lines directly hyperdbg cli.exe dash dash s script and we will uh, pass the file address. It's also possible to pass some arguments to the script engine or to the to to the s scripts or to the bash scripts, which can be used in both bash scripts and uh, s script engine. The format for the arguments is dollar sign arg zero, so it's somehow like pseudo registers. Uh, so the arguments are also treated as pseudo registers. The first argument, exactly like uh, conventional C uh, codes or conventional main in programming languages, the first argument contains the path to the .ds file. And arguments can be both uh, an expression, a constant, uh, or an estimate. So com uh, all of the constant uh, are still uh, considered in hex format. So if you just, for example, uh, provide 10 as the argument, then it's treated as 0x10. Uh, so it's in a hexadecimal format. And uh, here is an example of how we can uh, pass arguments in both uh, directly by using the executable file or by using a data script command i think it's pretty clear in this example we uh, pass 0x55 uh, in hexadecimal format and the second argument is rx register plus rbx register 
The third argument is one, two, three in hex format, and the same is also true about the Dutch script command.